All right, everyone. We are at the Colossal Cave Road number two, number two crossing here at here in Vail, Arizona. This is on the Lordsburg sub. And first thing to notice is this signal over here, this train signal over here is brand new. They recently, they, they, they completely replaced it. They used to have an SP signal from the 90s here, and then they removed it. And it looks like they were planning on putting a foundation on here too, so I don't know what's going on here. Here's your new relay case. This one's a lot closer up to the sidewalk as the other one is not. Here's your signal up here. I can't tell if... Yeah, this one still has the safe trans stuff on it. But the old one does not did not have it. It had Western Coal and Hayes stuff on it. Alright, first thing to notice for this crossing, it's a lot similar to the one right here, which has been reusing parts for crossing material pieces, but this crossing I'm about to show you is no different because I just noticed a older style Siemens gate mechanism. So here we go. Here's your crossing. This one doesn't have an actual, this one is missing exactly only one wind guard over here. The gate's a little weird too. First off, you got this signal over here, which has a Siemens base, an older Siemens gate mechanism, which you can see that they used the white label with an American style lock on it. Okay, next up, you got 12x24 inch lights with GE pixelated LEDs, just like they did with the other sick crossing down there. And any GE bell, and any GE bell, which of course is there, is your standard. You got a um, cross buck, and they've been reusing a lot of their NEG Aurora gate lights, so this is what they have here. I didn't mention it at the other crossing, but they did use, they're doing the same thing here. This one, the dot tag is interestingly, the dot tag is up here, but I can't see another, I can't see one here, so I might go ahead and try getting this one over once I get all the road traffic out of my way. This might be, um, this one, the dot tag says 741303E. The other one, it was 2302L. So, yeah, definitely a different setup to the other one. Here that there. This one has a PTC antenna attached as well, so they've somehow wired it up to this relay case to make it PTC compatible, which is why it's sticking out like that. Okay, now if I get some road clearance, oh, there's the relay, there's the new dot tag right there as well. Okay. Now if I go over here, once I get some road clearance, I'm gonna go this way, go to the median, and go to this signal over here. All right, I'm on the other side again. This road leads toward, this track leads towards Deming, New Mexico. But if we go back this way, it leads towards Tucson. Like the other, just like the other signal, it has reused crossing components on it. This one has, this one is absolutely no different. Because first off, you got your Siemens gate, Siemens base older Siemens gate mechanism with a UP signal lock on it. An American lock on the NEG bell, which looks relatively faded, so it's kind of a used one. This one has GE pixelated LEDs with safe trend lights. They've reused the safe trend bracket on this one too. New cross buck and new NEG Aurora LEDs, which Aurora gate light LEDs. So yeah, this crossing has been reusing spare parts for their gate for their crossings, so I'm kind of shocked at how much they've been trying to make it modern, but they've done so much to this that they don't care much about that. They just did what they could. So yeah. This is crossing number two. Yeah, the only mild difference between that signal over there, which has a wind guard. And this one is that this one does not have the wind guard. But you have a little bit of modern stuff going on here. They added a 
kind of store right next to this crossing right here. Weirdly enough that this crossing has a horn zone, so it honks through this entire little small town right here. So yeah, I'm not surprised how much they've, this has changed, but yeah, look at this. And if I can see this little sticker properly, it says National Electric Gate Company. That's what NEG stands for. But yeah, this used to have no sidewalk whatsoever, but they finally did something about it. They added sidewalk here. Anyways, this is Shay signing off here at crossing number two at Colossal Cave Road.